adding decimals using a 10 by 10 grid. You've learned how to represent decimals using a 10 by 10 grid. Now, we will learn how to represent the addition of decimals in the same way. We have a grid made of 10 rows and 10 columns creating 100 tiny squares. Now, how do we use this grid to add the decimals 24 hundredths and 58 hundredths? Think of the entire grid as representing one whole with 100 equal parts. So each square on the grid represents one out of 100, or one hundredth. Now we want to represent our two add-ins on the grid. We will start with 24 hundredths. We have two tenths and four hundredths. Since each square is one out of one hundred, or one hundredth of the grid, ten squares would make a column that represents ten hundredths, which is one out of ten, or one tenth of the grid. So we shade two columns to represent two tenths, and we shade four more squares to represent four hundredths. Now the entire shaded area represents twenty four hundredths. To add fifty eight hundredths, we must represent fifty eight hundredths on the same grid to find their total. How many tenths are there in fifty eight hundredths? There are five tenths, so we shade five columns. How many hundredths are in fifty eight hundredths? There are eight hundredths. Let's shade eight more squares. We will shade the squares that help us to complete a full column when possible. What is the value of the total shaded area? We start by determining how many tenths we have. Remember, one tenth is an entire column. How many entire columns are shaded? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight columns. This means we have eight tenths. We also know that one square represents one hundredth. So these two squares remaining represent two hundredths. In total, we have eight tenths and two hundredths, or eighty two hundredths. So twenty four hundredths plus fifty eight hundredths equals eighty two hundredths. In this lesson, you learned how to represent the addition of decimals using a 10 by 10 grid.